Hey, welcome to another demo that we're going to do on Snowflake Database. Um, uh, this demonstration, this video is going to focus on uh, uh, parallelism and concurrency, two very popular topics uh, with Snowflake. Um, I'm not going to cover uh, parallelism uh, in terms of query performance. I think most people get that, you know, the more servers you have uh, in your cluster, the faster your queries are going to be. I'm going to focus more on, on the data ingest, the data loading process, and what parallelism means to that. And we'll, we'll take a look at that quickly here. So um, uh, just to start off, I put some, I had some Chicago crime data uh, that I have locally on my Mac here. And I took the liberty of, of already putting these files up into the cloud and staging them uh, in my Snowflake user stage. And again, I did another video on that. You can see how to do it. It's pretty easy. It was just running this put statement to do it. Um, uh, obviously, the file's just, you know, 1.3 gig. I compressed it down to 300 some meg. Uh, in both cases, they're 300 some meg. It's just, you know, in, in one instance, it's uh, 20 different files. In another instance, it's just one file. And so when I look at my user stage here, if I look at, you know, this one folder where I have uh, just a single version of that here, um, you know, here's the, here's the actual one file of all of my Chicago crime data. It's 5.7 million records or so, right? In another folder here, I have the same data set, except it's, you know, here as 20 different uh, files split up evenly in, across 20 different files. And we'll see how, what this means for uh, data loading performance. So I'm going to create a table here uh, that just creates my my table. It's going to house my crimes data set that I have. Uh, I see that I have no, uh, no records in here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a parallelized load. I'm going to load data from, you know, load data into my crimes table. Uh, I'm going to load just a single um, uh, just a single, the, the single file version of this, right? And what we'll see is on the right side here, we'll see this starting to execute. So, you know, again, load into my crimes table, you know, everything from that one folder, which is just one one file in there. The file format is just good old CSV uh, and some other, uh, you know, on error, I'm going to continue and purge is false and all that good stuff. I can see the process that I'm, uh, that a progress that I'm making here. Uh, about a quarter of the way through this, uh, I think this should take somewhere around 40 seconds or so, again, to load the 5.7 million records. Not the worst performance in the world. Again, this is just an extra small cluster. Uh, it's just a one-node cluster, eight cores, you know, reading that file, um, and there we have it, right? So 5.8 uh, 5 million records that we loaded in about 42 seconds there. Um, again, that that's fine, but I want to take advantage of parallelism, right? So when I, you know, when I do the count here, there's my 5.7 million records. Um, what I'm going to do here is is now try to load the same data. I'll recreate this table, and of course, I'll see that there's no data in here. Uh, now I'm going to load the data using um, uh, all the files, those 20 files uh, that are in another folder here. And when I do that, again, I'm taking advantage of the parallelism. So instead of taking 42, 43 seconds to, to load the 5.8 million, this should be somewhere along the lines of 15 or 16 seconds or so, or less. There it is, 11.8 seconds. Again, same amount of data. There's my 5.8 million records, uh, but I did it in, in just under 12 seconds here. Again, I took advantage of parallelism. So a lot of people ask, well, why do you want me to you know, split up the files before we put them out in the cloud, right? Well, this is why. I want, you know, ongoing load performance, uh, uh, whether it be initial, you know, migration or, or incremental load. I, I want it to be fast. So uh, just a little technique there of why we do that. The other thing I want to talk about is, is concurrency, right? And so I have another database here. Um, I've got a database that, or, or another uh, 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 Snowflake account here. I've got two warehouses spun up, two compute clusters, warehouse one and warehouse two. And I'm going to run, I'm going to use a shell script that's going to call a query uh, using one of these clusters. And, and we're just going to see the performance and we're going to see what happens when we, you know, add more queries and then how we can isolate those workloads and, and why uh, uh, con uh, uh, concurrency is so easy to handle in Snowflake compared to other platforms you might be looking at, including Hadoop or other MPP databases. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up a little cluster here, or a little window that I have here. Uh, I'll just do a little directory check here, and I'm going to launch, uh, let's just do Snow2 uh, here, and what we'll see 
is that this is going to launch a couple I'll look at the history window here this is going to launch a couple queries right now and I can see that two queries are actually running on warehouse one and I think they're probably done already actually uh, it's the exact same query that's just launched uh, exactly in parallel here uh, we see that they finished in 7.2 both finished in 7.2 seconds uh, the result set is 10 rows right so um, it's both queries that are that are exactly the same query but that's the parallelism or, or that's the that's the, the that's two queries working together right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this up here now I'm gonna launch a different script that launches four of those queries simultaneously instead of just the two and what we'll see here is I'll refresh this and I will see four queries now running right on warehouse one here and so instead of being done in seven seconds like the previous uh, uh, queries were these are going to take probably a little bit longer right there's because they're competing for resources there's more queries going after this medium-sized cluster here uh, this data set's going after you know about 800 million records actually so the performance is pretty darn good but uh, anyway it's done here 14 seconds right to do four queries now um, what we can say here is again this is on a micro scale but you know if you want you know it, you know everyone wants their queries to be done in, in uh, seven seconds that's the SLA that we have to meet well we can have different groups use different compute clusters so they don't run into one another and so uh, again I have two different uh, uh, warehouse clusters out here, warehouse one, warehouse two. And so what I'm gonna do this time now is I'm gonna run another script that I have called Snow4. And what this is gonna do is, actually I'm gonna run a different one, this one, uh, two, two. What this is gonna do, it's gonna have two queries going to one cluster, two queries going to another. So again, it's the, still the same four queries running at the same time, but each is using an, its own cluster so they don't run into each other. And the total time should be back to around that seven second time frame. And so let's come back over here, look at my history, see that things are running. Again, all four queries are running, but one is, you know, two of them are on warehouse two, two of them are on warehouse one. And when I refresh this, there they all are. They're all done at, at, at the seven second mark. Actually, one got done a little bit sooner, 6.4 seconds. So the idea here, though, is that we isolated, you know, uh, 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 workloads where one group could be using a cluster another group could be using another cluster and even though they're running at the same time they, they didn't kill each other on performance right this is on a micro scale but again we could do this at, you know at a large scale in an enterprise it's how we manage very easily who has access to what compute and horsepower and make sure that nobody runs into one another that everyone has a good clean uh, uh, high performance environment so I uh, just wanted to uh, go through those concepts of parallelism and concurrency with you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you in the next demo.